Renowned Nobel laureate Adam Rees issues a stark warning, the James Webb Telescope has unearthed a perplexing cosmic anomaly, signaling imminent upheaval for our understanding of the universe. Each new revelation from the telescope challenges the very fabric of our scientific knowledge, leaving us reeling in a whirlwind of uncertainty. Astrophysicist and Nobel laureate Adam Rees has long foreseen this impending crisis, as the pile of unsolved mysteries in our field continues to mount relentlessly. Can we hope to grasp the magnitude of this situation, or are we witnessing the twilight of our scientific endeavors? In the midst of this turmoil, Adam Rees remains a bastion of composure. Since the inception of the James Webb Space Telescope, the cosmic landscape has been irrevocably altered. Our assumptions about the universe's age, the formation of galaxies, and the nature of cosmic expansion are being shattered. With the possibility that dark matter may be a fallacy looming over us, each discovery unveiled by James Webb poses yet another enigmatic puzzle for us to unravel. Adam Rees stands as a luminary in the realm of cosmological research, his groundbreaking work on the accelerating expansion of the universe having reshaped our understanding of cosmic dynamics. His pioneering efforts in utilizing supernovae as cosmic yardsticks have yielded unprecedented precision in measuring celestial distances. Yet, amidst the triumphs of his research, a troubling discrepancy emerged. While Rees's findings pointed to a regional acceleration of cosmic expansion, traditional methods based on redshift measurements suggested otherwise. This dissonance, now known as the Hubble tension, underscores the inherent flaws in our cosmological models. In 2011, Adam Rees, alongside colleagues Saul Perlmutter and Brian P. Schmidt, was honored with the Nobel Prize in Physics for their pivotal discovery of the universe's accelerated expansion. Collaborating within the HiZ Supernova search team, Rees and Schmidt pioneered innovative techniques to refine distance measurements in the cosmos. Concurrently, Perlmutter's work with the Supernova Cosmology Project corroborated their findings, revealing the startling reality of an expanding universe driven by unseen forces. This paradigm shift, characterized by an isotropic universe, represents a profound re-evaluation of our understanding of cosmic evolution. The modern scientific community faces its most significant crisis yet, a culmination of brewing tensions now exploding into a cacophony of unanswered questions. Astronomers and cosmologists find themselves inundated with new enigmas and surprises, shaking the very foundations of their discipline. The once stalwart concept of an isotropic universe now teeters on the edge of collapse, threatening one of cosmology's fundamental principles. Isotropy, the idea that the universe appears uniform from any vantage point, lies at the core of the cosmological principle. This assumption simplifies our understanding, suggesting that the universe, on a grand scale, is both homogeneous and isotropic. Past observations, like the uniformity of cosmic microwave background radiation and the even distribution of galaxy clusters, reinforce this model. Yet, recent findings challenge this paradigm. Initial studies on accelerated expansion, spearheaded by Adam Rees and colleagues, seem to validate aspects of the isotropic model. However, these discoveries unveiled a discrepancy, the universe's expansion outpaces previous estimations. This discrepancy points to a flaw in our understanding, particularly regarding dark energy. Dark energy, a theoretical form of energy presumed to oppose gravity, emerges as a pivotal player in cosmological theory. It constitutes a substantial portion of the universe's energy content, yet its existence remains unproven. Observations of type 1a supernovae and cosmic microwave background radiation provided some support for dark energy. However, recent data from the James Webb Space Telescope suggests a need for re-evaluation. The telescope's unparalleled precision reveals anomalies incompatible with the standard cosmological model, hinting at a universe expanding faster or originating earlier than assumed. These revelations underscore our incomplete understanding of cosmic forces, including dark matter and dark energy. A re-evaluation of the standard model seems inevitable, though premature without sufficient data. As we await further insights from the James Webb Space Telescope and other avenues of research, scientists like David Gross view this crisis as an opportunity. Gross posits that answers to cosmic mysteries may lie not in the vast expanse of the cosmos but in the intricate realm of particle physics. In this interim period, researchers worldwide sift through available data, eagerly anticipating the next breakthrough. The impending revolution in our understanding of the universe hinges on the accumulation of knowledge, awaiting the moment when the pieces of the cosmic puzzle finally fall into place.
The distinguished theoretical physicist specializes in both the theory of strong interaction and string theory. He stands among the Nobel laureates, having been honored in 2004 for unveiling asymptotic freedom within the theory of strong interaction. This breakthrough proved pivotal in comprehending the behavior of quarks, the elemental constituents of protons and neutrons. Quarks, integral to the standard model of particle physics, form the foundation of observable phenomena in the cosmos. Consequently, the fundamental constructs and principles of the universe at large must possess counterparts in the subatomic domain. Gross's conceptual contributions extend to phenomena occurring immediately post-Big Bang. Recognizing the absence of celestial bodies during that epoch, he envisioned a universe submerged in an intensely heated primordial broth, where particles roamed freely without coalescing. Preceding the Big Bang, a conjectured quantum fluctuation rendered all forms null, effectively summing to zero from a physical standpoint. The Big Bang ruptured this fluctuation, propelling charged and force-laden particles into the void, eventually culminating in the formation of stars, galaxies, planets, and life forms akin to humanity. Is Gross justified in asserting that these particles hold the key to all inquiries? Likely so. Yet, how can we scrutinize the conduct of entities existing 13.8 billion years past? Researchers resort to various methods, including the examination of cosmic microwave background radiation. Regarded as a reliable echo of the post-Big Bang era, this radiation likely retains its original characteristics. Nonetheless, discord arises between quantum physicists and their classical counterparts regarding its interpretation. Presently, the scientific landscape is marked by an incongruity between quantum and particle physics and traditional cosmology. The empirical findings concerning tangible matter fail to harmonize with quantum mechanics, lacking a cohesive linkage. Gross maintains optimism regarding the discovery of hitherto unknown particles and forces, endeavors to bridge disciplinary divides, predating the discourse catalyzed by James Webb. Gross's elucidation of asymptotic freedom elucidates the behavior of quarks under extreme energies, crucial for understanding the early universe post-Big Bang. His theories hold promise in elucidating unresolved facets of cosmic expansion. Nevertheless, dissent brews among scientists, with many classical physicists deeming string theory propositions excessively speculative. Gross posits that the enigmas reside within quantum fluctuations within the microwave background. The cosmic microwave background permeates the cosmos, observable in all directions. Pioneering observations by the Cosmic Background Explorer satellite, active 1989-1993, initially detected minute temperature fluctuations. Subsequent research, notably by the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, 2001-2010, and the Planck satellite, yielded detailed maps of the CMB. Yet, disagreement persists among researchers regarding data interpretation. While some discern evidence of the Big Bang within the CMB, others entertain notions of parallel universe collisions and the multiverse's existence. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.